Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am creating a love themed slimline card using the Vishur hair stamp set by my favorite things. So I got this adorable stamp set and then some older dies that I'm using today. I'm using the large slimline with sliders from Longform to get my slimline panel as well as the Whimsy Elfas to really let the sentiment shine a bit more. So first of all, I'm coloring in this adorable image, which is the only image in this mini stamp set, uh, but I just adore it. Um, it's a hair, hair? Um, well, it's a difficult word for me to pronounce. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be talking about things on our heads. And well, so I looked it up. I know what it says in, in, in Dutch, <laughs> so that's important. Um, but if you like bunnies or if you like hairs <laughs> everything counts in this case I fell in love with it um, before really checking the name of the stamp set and then I didn't got the name because I just didn't know the word in English uh, for this type of animal uh, but how cute is this one I just adore it um, you can make love theme cards but there are different sentiments in this stamp set and they are just amazing um, some of these stamp sets you have at your craft room, they have specific stamps um, or sentiments and, well, sometimes I just don't use any of them. Or I feel limited with the set <laughs> because it's really specific, it's cute, but it's really specific and I just don't know which other sentiments in my craft room I can immediately link to the images, um, except for really general, of course. But in this set there are just all cute sentiments and I see me using each and every one of them. Um, so that's really a bonus. Um, I love that. So as you can see here I first did the body and the feet and then, uh, or the paws. Depends on how you want to look at it. Um, <laughs> and now I'm doing the face. First my first layer starting with dark's color and then moving on to the lightest color. Now you might already seen this uh, image and the color combination because I shared it on the Instagram page by Carte Nouveau. Um, I'm trying to get a color combination up there uh, if I can every week, otherwise every two weeks I think that I'm going to try it. Um, just because a lot of people have the same Copic markers and just switching one marker can already give you such a difference in color combination. Like, I know that I'm using the E50, 51, 53 all the time. That's always the lightest colors where I'm ending with. So, those are amazing. Maybe you're using them as well, but instead of a 33 or 35 like I'm doing here, you might be using another color and that's perfectly fine. But a lot of people don't realize that just changing one color gives you so many more possibilities. And I just think it's wonderful. So, I want to... Get it out there and um, just show you from time to time some color combinations and if I have time I will make a video and um, well a card with it if I don't have time then it might be a color combination that you won't see on video uh, maybe I use it afterwards on another set uh, but just if you want to want to know <laughs> about it um, and if you don't want to miss out then you should definitely check out card nouveau on Instagram um, it's still a starting business in Belgium, it's an online web shop and I adore the owners, they are so lovely. Uh, so any support is welcome, uh, I would truly appreciate that as well. Uh, I'm also featuring some cards out there, this one was first on their Instagram before it came online and on YouTube and the blog and all the, those things. So I used the matching dies to get it out and now I'm on to my slimline panel. So this slimline panel is going to be pinkish to red um, and well you know me there are some stitching details so I'm just covering that using my purple tape and once that's done I can start in blending and the ink blending is quite extensive I colored on transotypographic coloring paper the ink blending today is on Stratmore Bristol Smooth which is a paper that I personally find really easy to do ink blending on if you're new if you want to use the regular ones then this paper really can help you getting to know the inks because it keeps the inks on the surface 
way longer than all the other papers I know so far. And that's handy because this gives you more wiggle room um, to get the color where you want to, to get the blend that you want to. Now the only disadvantage for me personally is that uh, when you have your layer first on there and you want to darken it because it's a paper that also softens the colors uh, more I guess than just Nina or the other papers that I'm using. Um, I prefer going over the ink blending again. Now with the ink staying on there a bit longer and staying wet um, it gives it a bit harder <laughs> or a bit more work to get like the blend going on or get it darker the way you want it to um, well so that's why this took me a bit longer than I'm used of just because I had to heat set this panel in between or you can let it air dry but me being really impatient um, just took my heat gun and started heating most on the top because there I wanted it way darker than what I originally got so I'm just using that edge mahogany and then in the end I'm also taking black soot just on the edge. And then of course you need to make sure that the blend is okay between the other colors. So, well, it kept me going back and forth. Checking with the bunny. Well, the bunny has that uh, pastel-y, oldish, pinkish look. Um, so that's why I really needed to check whether the color still fitted on the bottom uh, because on the top yes we have all the reds so <laughs> the bottom should be pink and just keeping back and forth you can heat set it in between more if you want to but why I use this Threadmore Bristle Smooth is because I'm going to do some splattering some just some water droplets and picking up the color and then I will also splatter some colors on there as well as you can see, on this Threadmore Bristle Smooth, the paper reacts really well. So uh, it doesn't rip, it doesn't tear, um, it doesn't go flaky. This paper really allows you to add water and that's what I really like. So if I know ahead of time that I might want to have some splatters on there, then I prefer using the Threadmore Bristle Smooth. I don't mind blending a bit longer, um, as long as my splatters will not be ugly because the paper is not handling it well uh, then I'm a happy camper. So this is my panel and I let it dry for quite a while like really long I I left it on the radiator because I was going to do a bit of heat embossing and therefore well all the wet stuff should be off it because otherwise the heat embossing powder will be sticking everywhere and that is what we don't want. Now I'm using the Whimsy Elfas to enlargen the love. And I thought with the gold, well I just love this gold. So I just thought using this Tonic Studios glitter card would be a lovely idea. Now I did everything, I sort of finished the card and then I just thought that the gold was a bit too much. Don't know why, normally I don't fuss about that. because. Any way I can add this gold is a good way. Um, but I just didn't like it. <laughs> so here I am first going to add, of course, the embossing powder and heat set it. Then I'm going to add the love. And then afterwards, I will add some ballet slipper Concord and Ninth colored cardstock on top of the gold. Now I didn't want to ruin the idea of the gold or just get rid of the gold completely. Um, it's a gorgeous cardstock. So I decided to just place the pink cardstock a bit more to the right. And this way you have that subtle detail of the gold and I like it so much more. Um, so I'm glad that I did that. You know, sometimes we need to change up the plans and sometimes you already think that it's lost <laughs> because it's on there. Just try to put something over it if you can. Um, if you use liquid glue and it hasn't dried yet, try to remove it. Uh, and maybe that all helps you and that's just the way to go. So I'm lining it up using my purple tape to keep it in place and then I'm ruining it. Uh, but this is an idea that I got from uh, Laura Batten or Laura Fedora. 
Um, and I just love this idea. This way you can use your grid mat uh, to get everything aligned straight. And once you're happy with it, you can hang over your card, add the letters straight. You can use your T-square ruler if you have one, a ruler. Um, you can use the grid mat again to line up the love uh, on your panel. And that's just what I like. Sorry for the baby hairs that are hanging over. Um, <laughs> But that's it, so slowly removing the purple tape after it is adhered. So I'm holding also the letters down just in case. And then I saw it was a bit more on the left than in the middle of my card. But with the pink we sort of solved that as well. So I did that and then um, it was time to check placement again. And then I decided to add pink. You know, this is a really soft pink and it actually really fit well with the sponge sugar that I used on the bottom. So I'm just going to add it slightly on the right on top of it. So I'm adding these letters using some liquid glue. Oh my god, my hair is just crazy in this video. I'm really sorry. Um, well, it's fluffy lately. Uh, so I'm adding this with liquid glue, giving me some more room to wiggle it and having it sort of placed the same way uh, a bit more to the towards the right as I said um, and once that's on there I can add the hair 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 okay I have difficulties um, <laughs> so this is my final one and then I'm using some thin foam squares to add behind my image and then I will center it onto the bottom of this card Covering this bag completely because you know me, I prefer that. And then once that's on there, I can start thinking about a bit of embellishments. So, the embellishments that I'm using today are these adorable droplet hearts by Little Things from Lucy's Cards. These are the pinkish ones. Uh, and I'm just going to use a few, not a lot. Don't want to go overboard. I prefer. My simple card still being simple in the end. And once those are on there, I'm also going to add some glossy accents onto the heart. Because glossy accents are life. Also will add it to the nose. Um, I just adore glossy accents. Sometimes when I have a card where I don't find a way of adding it, I'm really sad. It's true. Because I just love the gloss, I love how you can tilt it towards the light and you see all those different glossy elements uh, of your card, I just think it's amazing. And of course, you didn't saw me doing it, but I didn't add this panel onto a card base, so <laughs> going to do it now. Um, which is not always handy with glossy accents. Uh, on top you can smear it, you can put your finger in it, uh, but my glossy accent was limited, otherwise I would have waited with adding this panel onto my card base uh, until it was dry, but only the heart. So this is my card, I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and of course that you love the end result. If you do, you can always give this one a thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it. I want to thank you all for stopping by and taking the time to watch this video uh, that I made. I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon back on my channel for some new crafty inspiration. Bye!